and we went to meet this uh, Joe, Gio Giuseppe Di Natale. When I rang the bell, this young girl coming up in the door, all dressed red, with the white license on the dress, red lipstick, red fingernail, short hair, eyes like a hawk. When I saw Luigi for the first time, he's all dressed up in his governing coat and gloves and scarf, and I thought, God, oh, what a show off. <laughs> that was my first impression, but gradually it dissolved. <laughs> it didn't, I mustn't have thought he was a show off anymore. We finally got married in 1962 at St Patrick's in Melbourne. We had a big wedding, which we just sort of the parents arranged because there were too many people. There were 400 guests at the Northgate Town Hall. So we got married on Saturday. Monday morning, we went to sleep at home. When I got married, I left everything behind. All I had a little second-hand transistor that my brother gave it to me. We had no heaters. We lived five years without a fridge. We had no toilets, it was just a little dummy at the backyard. We used to burn just enough for meat at night, which you can't use, you have to throw it out. And the water was shocking. I couldn't drink water from home. <laughs> 